Hello, this is John Cressman with MonkeyUncle.com and we are doing a vertical shooter tutorial. This tutorial assumes a passing familiarity with Game Salad and that you actually have Game Salad installed. If you do not, you can go up to GameSalad.com and click on download and you can download a free version of it. This will also be using assets or artwork from Kenny. K-E-N-N-E-Y. He has a website, K-E-N-N-E-Y dot N-L. In his website, you will see that there's a lot of different types of assets. If you click on the 2D assets and go to page 3, this is subject to change because he's always adding new graphics. But you'll see a Space Shooter Redux. You want to go ahead and download that now and copy it to your desktop and then you want to go to UI and download the on-screen controls and also copy those to desktop. Once you have that you can follow along with the tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and launch Game Salad. We're going to create a new project. We're going to call this project Vertical Shooter 01. And because we're using a vertical shooter, we want as much landscape as we can vertically, so we're going to change to iPhone 5 Portrait. Go ahead and click OK. We can now go to the Scenes, and you'll see that you have Initial Scene. Go ahead and rename that to Menu. And now create two more scenes. We're going to name one Play, and the other end. So we have our menu, our play, which will be where the action takes place, and then if the player dies, we're going to switch to an end scene that will then allow them to go back and restart what they just did. All right. Now I do recommend that you go ahead and save this. Um, while there aren't as many bugs as there used to be, I do know that sometimes it crashes and it's a pain in the butt to lose the work that you just did. So let's go ahead and save this as Vertical Shooter 001. And now we're going to go into Actors. We're going to create a new actor. And that's the wrong place to click. This is actually for tags. So I'm going to click over here and create a new actor called Menu Button. Let's go over to our menu scene. Now this will be the first scene that the player sees. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into menu. We're going to drag it over here, this menu button. And we're going to expand it so that it fits in this inner box. Now let's double click on it. And we're going to click on edit prototype. First, let's change the color of the button. You can do that down here through the color attributes and we're just going to go with some preset colors how about a nice dark blue now we need to give this button some actions and also have it do something so we're going to go ahead and bring over the display text behavior and in here we're going to put in start game now if you are typing in and you notice that the spaces do not actually show up you're gonna to have to hit alt or option space and that will make the space appear uh, I'm not sure why they did it that way but that's what you have to do to get it to show up so we're gonna go ahead and put start game we're gonna have it put displayed in the center of the button and let's just change this color to yellow obviously you can go with whatever your preference is now this will display start game on top of this blue button but when they press it we need it to do something so let's add a rule and we're going to say when this actor receives a touch or when this button gets touched or pressed we're going to add another one when that touch is inside the actor so not outside but inside the actor then we're going to do something and what we're going to do is we're going to start the game by changing the scene to that play scene okay, that we created before. 
Now here you can choose the scenes that you've already created, which is why we created them first. You notice we have the play. Now you notice you have this option to enable advertisement. We won't go into that right now, but for the moment, let's go ahead and uncheck that. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and save it so we don't lose our work in case we crash. And we're going to go ahead and preview. And the first screen they get is this menu screen, and there's our start game. If we click it, it takes us to a blank screen. Well, that's the play screen. So, so far, so good. So now, let's go ahead and start some of the play action. So let's go to play, and we're going to create a new actor. We're going to call this actor player. Okay. Let's go ahead and open up that actor. This is actually editing the prototype. Let's go over to the space shooter graphics that we downloaded, and let's go down to player ship, and you can choose really anyone you want, but I'm going to go with the green ship. I'm going to go ahead and drag it over. And you're going to see that it now becomes the object. But to make sure that we have the correct aspect ratio, let's double click on it. You're going to see that it opens it up, and we can go to tools and adjust size, and we can see the exact size, 99 by 75. So let's come down here to size. Let's change it to 99 wide by 75 high. Now normally when you're creating graphics, you want them to be divisible by four. So this would be and have been much better if it was 100 by 80, but we're using graphics from somebody else. So we'll do what we can. Kenny is very generous for donating these graphics. And if you can, I do recommend that you go and buy his graphics pack. So now we've created a player graphic and we've given it a image. So now let's go to scenes and play. And let's drag this player object to the bottom of the screen. Okay. Once again, we're going to file save and go ahead and hit preview. And that's what the scene looks like. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on menu. And that takes us to the menu. So this would be the first screen they see. They can hit start game. And now they have this game that really doesn't do anything. So the most basic things that we want to add are movement. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to go ahead and double click and edit the prototype. We're going to create movement. But to do that, we need to move it at a set speed. To make that easier to edit later, we're going to go ahead and create a new attribute on the actor. Okay, it's going to be an integer. And we're going to name it player speed. And we're going to make this player speed 200. All right. And now we're going to create a couple rules. Okay, one at a time though. We're going to say when the actor receives a key. Now I will tell you this latest version of Game Salad, if you look, it's 0.13.14 does have some issues with the keyboard. You may not have these issues, but I do have them and I'm going to go ahead and save it in case it crashes. So we're going to move it when a key is pressed. We'll add on screen controls later. But for now, we're going to go ahead and do a keyboard. Now, I like to use the WASD keys. So we're going to click the keyboard, and we're going to choose the A, WASD. So that's up and down, W and S, and then side to side is A and D. So we're going to go ahead and hit A. All right. Now, so far, so good, but I'm going to go ahead and save. Now, when we press A, that's the left. So we want the actor to go to the left. The left is always, will always be a negative version of the speed because we want it to go towards the beginning of the screen where the coordinates are lower. So we're going to go ahead and change attribute. And we're going to change player motion linear velocity x to 
and remember how we said you're going to be negative so we're going to put the negative sign and then we're going to click on the down arrow here go to player and choose player speed okay so in this case we're going to set the linear velocity x which is the horizontal movement on the screen we're going to set that to negative player speed or negative 200 now if they're not pressing a we're going to hit alt or option and we're going to drag this down and what that does is makes a copy of it we're going to set this to zero so just go ahead and backspace and hit zero so if they're pressing a it's going to be set to negative 200 and if they're not it's going to be set to zero let's go ahead and file save and we're going to take this rule and again hold down the alt or option key and we're going to drag it down okay go ahead and name these and just by clicking on it you can change the name so that we know which one is which again file save better safe than sorry now we're going to hit keyboard and again a and d are left and right so we're going to choose d but this time we want it to go to the right and that's going to be positive so I'm just going to space over and backspace over or delete that negative sign so that will equal to positive and of course when they're not it's zero so let's go ahead and save this and we're going to go click on home so we can preview the entire project going to hit preview here's our menu we're going to hit start game and now I'm going to use the A and D keys and as you can see I'm moving back and forth across the screen so that's the beginning of what we want and that's where we're going to leave off here in part one we'll see you again at part two and you can find that at monkeyuncle.com